Capricorn. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the second half of September of 2020 spiritual guidance reading. I'm going to be starting out with the tea leaf fortune card deck by Ray Hepburn and I'm going to be doing a circle spread. So dear Lord spirit guides and angels please bless whichever Capricorn I'm reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With clearly defined messages. Oh, they want me to stop. Regarding the second half of September of 2020. So by mid-September of 2020, we have a Capricorn who has the dog energy. In this particular deck, uh, what the card says is you have protection from a powerful friend. Because with the pale energy, there's a Capricorn here who is recognizing that it's time to get out of a situation. I feel this Capricorn is trying to, with the dog energies, figure out the devotion of another. But they're recognizing that something's just not working. Now this is divinely timed when it comes to... Uh, the collective, right? We our need to let go of what doesn't work so we can step into a beautiful new journey, start new things, new directions that will go on into and through the next 20 to 30 years. Now in the thoughts position of the circle spread, we have January. So we have you, Capricorn. Some of you may be dealing with someone who has Capricorn or Aquarius in their chart and you're thinking about them. Maybe you're thinking about what happened last January. And in the relationship sector, you have the valley energies. So from, I'm going to say, during the whole second half of September of 2020, as you step out of a situation, make sure if you don't already have, that you have protective friends, protective family members. Because as you get out of a situation, you're going to start to feel deep personal strength, and peace within that assures success in a relationship. Why? Because you've been down a path that wasn't healthy and now you can turn around and get back into the path of peace, joy, and happiness, of connecting with maybe the right one, partner, business partner, however that applies to you in the relationship sector. Now in the creative aspects position during the whole second half of September of 2020, this Capricorn has the tankard energies. You are manifesting celebration and fun. For some of you, create celebration and fun. Celebrate the fact that you are getting out of a situation and that you can now find peace. For as you connect with new people, closer to maybe the 25th to the 30th of September of 2020, Capricorn, as you take action to connect with others or new people if you're single, that fire is lit in your actions position. Strong emotions. Now for some, these are strong emotions in the area of love or these are strong emotions when it comes to letting go of a situation you know you need to get out of. Spirit wants to bring you this deep personal strength so that you can get excited about new connections, circumstances, situations. So this is someone also being nudged financially to let go of what doesn't serve you or people who are negative and move into a new direction where you can find this great inner strength and peace. Now, emotionally, by the last week of September of 2020, we have a Capricorn who's thinking about marriage commitment, partnership, or contracts. Because subconsciously, we have the lobster energy. We have a Capricorn who is thinking about a financial pinch, right? I need to get out of this situation because I'm not getting paid enough. But Spirit is saying, good, now's the time. Day to day, we are giving you the four-leaf clover energy. Spirit is saying that represents great and good fortune. 
day to day as you celebrate a new path and say, I'm starting now. I'm getting out of a situation and I am going to create and manifest that which I am passionate about. Spirit is going to bring me good fortune. That will help to free my mind in the subconscious position of this financial pinch energy. Wow. So in your inner strengths position, Spirit is saying by the end of September... It will be time to take a vacation either physically, mentally, emotionally. When it comes to leaving the situation, know that Spirit's giving you the strength to take a vacation, to celebrate a new beginning, to take a break when it comes to physically or uh, uh, mentally, even spiritually. What are you passionate about? What do you want to create? If you are in a situation that you know you need to get out of, like the collective, it's time to let it go and move into a beautiful new path because spirit's really trying to guide people to move into the best direction they can but it takes us realizing that negative negativity is in our path blocking our ability to see the light right for some one that really needed to be heard okay so on the bottom of the deck we have a younger woman either this is you Capricorn or this is another maybe you're younger than this person Yes, a wish will not be granted, and that's why you should get out of that situation. It's time to create pleasure with close friends. So in the creative aspects position, as you celebrate and enjoy your life, get out and connect with others in the second half of September. There will be great fortune and eventually passion through these actions. Ooh, I almost like felt like a bonfire. Someone's going to meet each other at a late of late year bonfire. All right, so let's clarify by bringing in the gateway to the divine tarot. I'm going to use this deck to clarify the astrological signs and or elements of whom by which this Capricorn will be connecting with or saying goodbye to during the second half of September of 2020. All right, so we have a passionate action card here with the Knight of Wands. I don't know if you guys are connecting with someone who has fire in their chart, Sag Aries or Leo, or this is just someone who likes to come towards you full of passion and then heads back out full of passion in their own life. Someone here is hoping in their thoughts position that someone born in January or this is yourself Someone who could have Capricorn or Aquarius in their chart feels like it was meant to be with the Two of Cups. It feels like there's a, an emotional connection. So Spirit is saying, in the relationship sector, find inner peace and contentment. Listen to your intuition, especially from the 16th to the 25th. Take some time to observe. A connection, as that's what will bring success. So they're saying pull back the reins a little bit. What happens with our energy if we put too much energy into the direction of another, thinking about them always, uh, the natural way is for them to pull back. So it's time, Spirit, saying to pull within and uh, celebrate good times with other people, not focusing just on this circumstance, situation, or person. Now, in the creative aspects position, the advice here for this Capricorn is to create an opportunity to celebrate or to attend some form of celebration. Maybe during the week of the 21st of September of 2020. Because here comes the Seven of Cups, fantasy and illusion. Strong emotions in the actions position. But the, having the ability to wait for the high priestess to speak. So where there is a lot of passion, take your time, pray to spirit to show you the way. Even in the midst of a passionate connection that brings fantasy and illusion, it is important in relation to others to sit back and listen to your intuition to think and to clarify and confirm with yourself that this is indeed the Two of Cups energies. Yeah! Emotionally, 
Now I feel a couple things here. By the end of September of 2020, we've got the, is that the nine? Yeah. Wishes coming true in the area of stability and security. Emotionally fulfilled and happy because of a commitment, partnership, or contract with the marriage energies. Subconsciously, we had a financial pinch and then boom, spirit says, guess what? New beginning. We're giving you the gift of the Ace of Swords to cut away from who and or what doesn't serve you and to step into a path of victory. It is indeed time to get out of a situation and to look excitedly for a new direction that you can celebrate if this is finances in the second half of September. Be careful what you wish for for some Capricorns. For you may draw someone towards you uh, who has an addiction. Or you may yourself find yourself addicted to a person, place, circumstance, situation, or environment. Remember, Spirit's helping you to create fun, but to watch for the energies of fantasy and illusion. Use your imagination. You know, write poetry, draw pictures, things that are romantic, and wait for the truth. Even though you're in a financial pinch, spirit is stepping in to help create victory in the area of finances for one thing for this Capricorn. So in your inner strengths position, spirit saying with the 10 of wands, you're going to have the strength to crawl out from beneath a passionate person that went on for far too long. A situation you were passionate about creatively, financially, career-wise that is now becoming a weight on your back. Spirit is giving you the strength to take a vacation. Okay, so maybe you like your job and you're just being guided to take a vacation by the end of September because it's the end of the year. Uh, it might be a... Hmm. Yeah, wait for the truth. You could make a wish come true with the devil. So let's clarify with a three-card summary to my left. With the same gateway to the divine deck. We've got the first couple cards here representing the 16th through around the 20th, maybe the 23rd of September of 2020. See, a very passionate connection. Wanting maybe a new path with someone who has Gemini, Gemini in their chart being represented by the lovers as a major arcana. Either way, there is an a lot of enthusiasm here, a lot of excitement here with the fool. So we've got two major arcanas, very passionate energy, wanting to hop, skip, and jump into a new direction. Just slow down a little bit as the information so that you don't hop, skip, and jump off a cliff is what the fool could represent negatively. Oh my gosh. So we've got the third major arcana in four cards. Now is the time with the seven of coins, seven being a very spiritual time, to give yourself a pat on the back for how far you have come, to load up all of that knowledge, and to know that as you move forward with the chariot as a major arcana and spiritual guidance, spirit is going to guide you beyond old temptations or obsessions into the path of success during the second half of September. A new path, a new beginning, a new celebration being offered as a gift in the form of the Ace of Wands. We've now got the Ace of Truth, Swords, Victory, and the Wands representing passion. Celebrating with the Four of Wands, a new exciting direction. A wish come true that is very emotionally fulfilling. If you will apply your imagination, get out, have fun, connect, and see what is on offer in the world around you. Justice is turning in your favor, so remain balanced as you set goals and meet goals and wait for Spirit to give you the Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning that will grow and prosper. Someone here has been waiting for communication with the Knight of Coins energies and the Emperor from someone in a leadership position, waiting for an offer or an opportunity from someone in a leadership position, but now... Spirit saying with the Six of Swords, I just saw that it is time to leave troubled waters behind. So if a wish isn't granted from someone, Spirit is saying now's the time to use the King of Wands energies to set goals and meet goals and get things done. So 
in, in like a well-oiled machine day to day so that in this moment of pause with the major arcana of the hierophant spirit saying you can shine your light on different paths but we'll eventually see the fourth wand or i mean the fourth gift oh my gosh so you've got four wands in here is what i'm freaking out on nope this isn't sorry this is knight of cups I will, same thing. I mean, I feel like somebody's coming towards you with a beautiful, kind offer, and they're coming towards you very quickly. There we go. Communication with the Page of Cups right behind that. Do I or do I not want to step into this commitment, partnership, or contract with the Two of Wands? You guys are going to uh, be able to, with the strength of the King of Swords, speak your truth about what you want to be paid, uh, what you expect when it comes to a new direction. I think you're going to get an offer in a new direction that is better than where you are at. And you're going to be celebrating the fact that you can walk away from this devil energy. Someone who causes unhealthy energy in your journey. Yeah, so here we have by the end of September of 2020, somebody's laying down a path they were once very passionate about. But they're still being guided to put in one last ditch effort and research a little bit longer with the eight of coins energies. Because... There'll be a moment of pause before someone comes forth with an offer. Wow. For some of you, you may be thinking about someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I think also with the King of Cups energies, you're going to feel more emotionally stable and secure and able to maintain balance emotionally while you receive some form of success. And as you receive success, of course, that person, as you start to shine brightly in your own journey, is going to be drawn back towards you. But be careful of the devil. Tell me about the devil. I'm just going to clarify that card with the, because it's in the day-to-day -day aspects position, feeling as though this is a lucky connection. But there's fantasy and illusion with the Seven of Cups. Okay, so they're talking right away about misfortune. About uh, a Capricorn who spent more time sitting in a room by themselves than they have with this poor person. And that's why this feels misfortunate. So here you are realizing by the end of September, Capricorn, that with the faux energies, you brought this upon yourself. In hopes that someone would come and open doors and treat you like a princess. Now you're getting kind of stubborn. You're ready for commitment partnership. Someone else is cold and closed off. Now, for some of you, allow yourself to enjoy the journey if this is a person who is an, someone in uniform, and I don't get that very often. Pray to Spirit to give you signs regarding love where you may feel very strong emotions. Because look at this. Emotionally, by the end of September, we have marriage and wedding. So there could be an engagement or somebody is connecting with another at... A marriage or wedding or engagement party or some form of gathering yeah you start to find contentment financially in your own journey and feel very strong in the sweetheart energy I am marriage material okay beautiful so you will be successful and people will be drawn to you but right when you start to heal from what you're letting go of that person comes back. But I think they're just going to cause despair. I think there's a part of yourself that needs to fall away and understand that the four-leaf clover is about success. It's about stability. It's about creating great stability in your own journey before allowing another to come in if you are single. It's about letting go of anyone or anything that doesn't bring you stability and happiness financially because now is the time to go. Now is the time to find a new path that will be uh, and will feel victorious with the Ace of Swords. So I'm going to close with one card from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please provide whichever Capricorn I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the energy surrounding them during the whole second half of September of 2020. 
Should these messages be resonating for you in some way? Uh, I am offering personal readings so we can pinpoint uh, what's transpiring in your own journey. Just email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month, and yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. Thank you to those of you whom have subscribed, to those of you whom have liked and shared, and to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you to those of you whom are attending my Wednesday at noon U.S. Central Time uh, Zoom casts where we meet face to face and talk about these energies and how they are working in everyone's life. Um, if you are interested in joining the live Zoom cast Wednesdays at noon U.S. Central Time, just email me at josiek42 at gmail.com and I'll send you the link for next Wednesday. I am also wanting to give a quick thanks to those of you who have attended my live video podcast on Thursdays at noon U.S. Central Time. Uh, for it is during that live video podcast where I will offer one question readings for a minimum of a $10 donation. Closing message. Eight of action. So everybody's getting this. Now, I feel like the four, number four years where we start to kind of find stability and balance. We start to kind of decide who we're going to be with, where we're going to be situated for a long period of time. And then number five year 2021 kicks in and things start to roll. Uh, things start to get really good again, and of course, there's always little issues, but life will start to roll like we haven't felt it since back in maybe the early 70s, early 80s, early 90s. It's like when things were good and we didn't have we didn't have time to stop and worry. So this card says there's so much going on right now, it may feel overwhelming to you, and yet it is wonderful to be so busy with the work that you love. Express gratitude <clears throat> for the blessings of heaven that are taking up your time, even if it feels challenging. If you're asked to travel and or take a flight, do so with confidence. I didn't see a lot about travel here, so I think this could be virtual communication. Oh, yeah, I did. Getting together for a celebration during the second half. There could very well be someone meeting another, but that person has some unhealthy energy for whatever reason, and um, you're being guided to wait. Wait, observe, enjoy the journey, and listen to your intuition in the relationship sector. Or some of you are thinking about... An older water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, and so on. Thank you again for stopping by. Take care and God.